Anti-Afro Spengalis, I am coming on here to announce a four-part series. I posted it on AAS Community Wall. I'm doing a four-part series on the methods that have been used by King Kong Crazy. Specifically, as it relates to four brothers in these YouTube streets. Grown Man, Rev G, The Smoke, and Remix. Why am I bringing this up? Frankly, because I have been brought up. What King Kong Crazy has done, and I'm going to be doing a video on each of these brothers as it relates to King Kong Crazy. And I'll get into that in a second as far as what I'm going to be doing. But I'm telling you what's happening, what has occurred, what continues to occur. For some reason, KKC feels the need to loop me in to situations when these brothers, and I'm focusing specifically on these four brothers, have mentioned his name in any respect. He turns around and does what? He blames me for their words. And not only that, he claims I'm telling them what to say. He also claims I am paying them to say what they are saying. And I find that very odd because I supported KKC's channel. So how did you avoid this? According to KKC's disposition, nobody tells him what to do. Everybody else is under my command, specifically these, these four brothers. If that's the case, and you have all of this bravado and this internal fortitude to ward off me, AAS, well, I have all these other brothers under control. Please explain the reason why you refuse to step to these brothers directly and address your concerns and issues, beefs, or whatever you have with them. So that's the reason why I'm doing this series. Let me explain further. Every single brother here that you see on the screen, every single one, KKC had pre-existing issues. Whether you want to call it a beef or a disagreement, they had issues with KKC and specifically the live streams that he runs. We can pretend all day long. People do associate others with hosts when they're in their chat. They don't always accuse them of doing things like KKC does to me. They just recognize someone is sitting in that chat they're rocking with that person. So on the minimum level, you think there's a connection, but it goes much further in this situation with KKC and these four brothers. There were very specific occurrences that went down that had nothing to do with me. The actual incidents themselves. Even if I commented later on on something, it's irrelevant. The actual issue itself had nothing to do with me. So KKC had these pre-existing issues with these four brothers and he never ever said anything to them. Now let me be very specific about what I mean as it relates to an issue. I'm not talking about, this is a difference of opinion. We're talking about something that is personal against KKC in his mind or personal against the brother, or a misunderstanding between KKC and these four brothers individually. That's what I'm talking about. To the point where KKC was so upset, he went and stepped to the brother who he has issues with. He never did that. He never said anything publicly against these brothers in terms of Oh, until recently, he decides to come up and mention grown man. But no, he didn't mention grown man in confrontation. He drew me into it. I am not understanding. This is very bizarre. I have never had an experience where someone who calls himself a man has a problem with another man 
and he sits around females complaining. Furthermore, he will not step directly to the dude he has issues with. Instead, he tries to use a woman as a crash dummy. And that's what King Kong Curry has always tried to do to me. He did it with all four of these brothers, knowing good and damn well he had pre-existing issues with them and didn't have the guts to confront them. I'm going to tell you each of the realities. I won't call them stories because they're realities. These are the things that he doesn't say when he goes up on these nasty ass freak anti-ADOS abusers panels and tries to act big and bad, but he's talking mainly, he's whining mainly about me having supposed control over these brothers. But what he's doing, he's insulting them, but he doesn't have the guts to tell them. He's using me as the conduit. And I'm going to explain every single situation where this occurred, the timeline and everything. You need to ask yourselves, why in the hell is there a dude up here who claims he's a man constantly bringing me into shit when he has pre-existing issues with these brothers? Step to the brothers and address your issues. He waited. He waited until he thought he had an opportunity to throw me into shit that has nothing to do with me. Absolutely nothing to do with me. It's bullshit. And lying on top of that, have a freaking opinion, but he's lying straight through his teeth. The truth does not help him. So he has to come up with all these lies. He's pissed off. He doesn't have the guts to confront these brothers. So he has to make up lies on me and claim I'm giving them money and they're doing what I say, but somehow he escaped that. He escaped it, but he doesn't have the guts to confront the dudes he has trouble with. Hopefully you will stay tuned and watch out for my series. I'm gonna talk. I get to say what the hell I wanna say. If someone's offended, they're freaking offended. Who gives a damn? You folks are up here talking all kinds of greasy shit about people you know nothing about and then you have the nerve to come up here and be offended because someone has a damn opinion about a situation. Well, I'm gonna be giving you facts about what went down between KKC and Grown Man, KKC and Rev G, KKC and Remix, KKC and The Smoke. I'm going to show you what KK cowering is all about. He is a coward. He is cowering away from these brothers, wants to try to step to me like he's going to run something. You're not going to run shit. Get up here and address these brothers. Each of these brothers are going to be put front and center with respect to KKC's issues with them and how KKC refused to address them. Refused. Absolutely refused. But he throws me into the mix, something I object to and something I'm not going to be quiet about. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened with all four of these brothers. King Kong Crazy is also known as King Kong Cowering. And you are going to see exactly why he's earned that nickname. So that we're not making any effort to confuse anything. I'm not referring to a physical confrontation. I am referring to confrontation wherein you go to an individual and you ask what is going on here what's up you mentioned my name in xyz what's going on let's deal with this that's what i'm talking about he won't even do that instead he wants to hold me responsible he wants to try to get me penalized and punished and attacked let me put that in a nutshell KKC is very clear. It is no denying the fact that he definitely wants harm inflicted upon me, whether it's physical or emotional. He is very clearly demonstrated that. I don't give a damn how much he gets up on that anti-ADOS freaks platform and tries to deny that. You absolutely did want harm inflicted upon me and I have the proof. But let me just say this. I'm sure most people have seen, I use one or two approaches. Once I know a person is attempting 
to cause me any type of harm. I totally and completely avoid any interaction with the person or I'm going to fight like hell. And this is a situation I'm going to fight like hell because this person is getting up here, King Kong crazy, getting up here, fueling this bullshit with lies, 100% unadulterated lies. And he knows he is lying. And even worse, he's targeting people he knows that are close to me or associated with me to try and further inflict this harm. So you're damn right. This is not a situation where I'm going to simply be quiet. Like initially I was going, what is going on here? I had other people around me up in arms. What the hell is this so-and-so doing or who the hell does he think he is making this comment or saying, I said, let him just let him keep talking. And as time went on, his anger festered. It was more obvious that he was enraged with me, with Gerald, with other people. That is not our riddle to figure out. I just know one damn thing. There comes a time when you have to speak up. And this is one of those times. So you're not going to get silence in response to the shit that you did, KKC. You are not a person that I was ever going to permanently and simply ignore when you started acting the fool on me. You ran around here thumbing up videos where I was threatened with rape and sexual degradation. You thumb up videos where I was called crazy. You got up on a platform and you called me crazy. Are you serious? You think I'm going to let you just slide off and engage in all of this conduct and lie on me, lie on people I care about, and I'm going to be quiet about it? That was never going to happen. Listen, there are people who just cannot stand anything said about them. Even if it's not something that's necessarily harmful, it's something they don't agree with. They find it undesirable. They have such an intolerance for it. And he's one of them. So if you have that about you, what you need to do is be more judicious in the statements that you're making about each other. Because there is no law that says people have to remain silent in response to the bullshit that you're spewing about them. I'm one of them. Gerald's not going to be quiet. And there are others very clearly who have spoken up in the past. They're speaking up now and in the future, they will continue to speak up. You don't have any right to tell people they're unable to respond to the bullshit that you're saying and doing as it relates to them. You seem to think you have this exclusive right that people will remain silent on you while you say what the hell you want. That is not reality. That's not my reality. It's not the reality of the world. So if you're looking for that, you're going to very seriously be even more disappointed and angry than you are right now. Stay tuned for the series. It's coming soon. I'm hoping to have the first video out sometime today. Check the community wall for updates. In the meantime, you know the drill. Buyer beware.